Welcome to KeyboardBlues.com. This is Chapter 6, Part 1 of 2, from Blues for Piano and Keyboard. Welcome back. Today, we're going to expand on some of the blues riffs that we learned already. Now, blues riffs are just groups of notes that sound cool together, like this. Let's get started. So far, we've learned a blues riff that sounds like this. Remember that? If you don't, you can review any of the previous chapters at Keyboard Blues. Com. We're going to move on now. We're going to learn a new blues riff and call it blues riff number two. Here it is again lower. Now here's where it really begins to sound fantastic when you alternate riff number one with riff number two. Can you hear that? Riff number one. Riff number two. Is riff number one. Followed by two. Yeah, just back and forth is mighty fine. All right, here's some more now. Okay, let's get started. Now, at the end of that little piece, I played a long blues riff. Sounds like it's probably pretty tough to play, but guess what? It's not. It's actually very simple. We're going to learn something in this chapter, chapter 6, that's a component of that big, long, bluesy riff. And then in chapter 8, we're going to put it all together, and you're going to be able to play exactly what I did. So get ready. There's lots of stuff to dig into here. To begin with, let's learn how to play this new blues riff, riff number 2. Now, do you remember the very first right-hand riff that I taught you? Now sometimes I played this riff up high on the keyboard and sometimes down low, just depending on whatever chord I happen to be playing at that particular moment. For instance, when I played this riff over the C chord, I played it right here, and then I'd play it higher for F, and I'd play it a little higher yet for G, just depending on whatever chord I happened to be playing at that particular moment. Now this new riff, blues riff number two, is what's called a static riff. That means it never moves. You always play it in the same spot on the keyboard. Now I know you're wondering, how can that possibly be interesting, playing the same thing in the same spot? Here's the secret. This new riff, it's only played by the right hand. So it keeps hammering the same thing in exactly the same spot. But the left hand keeps moving to the different chords in the blues. And because this static riff works with all those chords, you've got a new flavor every time you've got a new chord. It's incredible. Now, the reason this sounds so cool and the reason it works over all the chords in the blues is because this static riff is based on the blues scale. Now, that's a super, super important point. I'll talk to you about it more in upcoming chapters. But for now, listen to a sample of the right hand playing this static riff in exactly the same spot on the keyboard while the left hand moves through the different chords in the blues. Here it is. Now, did you hear how the right hand kept hammering the same exact riff while the left hand played different chords? That's called a static riff. And even though it doesn't seem like it would have much interest, because after all, you always play it in the same spot, when you couple that together with the left hand, it can become a very, very powerful force in the blues. Now, one clarification. I did say that you play the static riff in exactly the same spot on the keyboard, no matter what chord the left hand was playing. Well, there's one exception. You can play it an octave higher, or two octaves, or an octave lower, whatever the case is. That way, it's always the same notes, 
but just in different registers on the keyboard. Now, if it sounds like I'm getting a bit technical at this point, you know what? I am. It's time to dig in. There's some great concepts here, but it does take some technical musical knowledge. Now, if you play the piano and you're really comfortable with all these musical terms, hey, let's move on. But if this is starting to sound like a foreign language, you really need to go through our course titled Pattern, Piano, and Keyboard. You can find that course on the net at playpianotoday.com. Pattern Piano and Keyboard starts with the very beginning foundations of music. It assumes that you've never played before, but then it quickly moves through college-level techniques. Now, the real power of this course is that it's able to teach you to play by ear, quickly, using the revolutionary technique of rhythmic patterns. This is so powerful. Using this tool of rhythmic patterns, students are able to quickly develop their own unique style and unique sound on the piano or the keyboard and create fantastic arrangements of any song by ear. Doesn't that sound like fun? We literally have hundreds of thousands of students around the world who have gone through this course and they've found a new passion for music. Now once you've gone through that course, come back here and work your way through this online blues course. At that point, you'll have a solid musical understanding which will allow you to become a creative musician, which is the key to a lifelong love of music. Now we're going to work on the individual notes of this right-hand blues riff, the static riff, blues riff number two, frame by frame. Now once again, the reason that this... This has been part one of two from chapter six in the piano lesson series titled Blues for Piano and Keyboard. If you're watching this video on a site other than keyboardblues.com, you can find part two by simply doing a search for blues piano lessons and you'll find it. Otherwise, come on over to KeyboardBlues.com and you can check out the whole series. Before you leave this site, though, would you do us a favor? If these lessons are valuable to you and you'd like to see more, would you just take a minute and leave a comment on the site that you're on right now? Or you can simply rate the video. Either way, it really helps us and enables us to post lessons just like this one, free of charge. Thanks! Thanks!